having a visa that allows you to come into the UK is not enough. It's not a guarantee that you're going to enter inside the UK. Having a visa that shows you've been approved by the UK government or the UK home office that says you can come in to the UK does not guarantee you entering the UK. It's not enough proof. As you may arrive to the UK, but you may not be allowed to enter. Coming down from the airport, arriving the UK border, going through security checks and the rest is not you entering UK. You only enter inside UK when you've successfully shown proven evidence that you are here genuinely. When you've crossed the big buses, yes, I call them buses because they are the one to determine if you will cross inside the UK, if you will come in to carry out your intended purposes. I've came here formally to give a story on how I was almost deported at the point of entry into the UK. Based on my own silly mistakes, I've came here to give you guys illustrations what to do, what not to do, how to behave, how not to behave. But still, people are still falling victim of all of this. Should I say victim? But still, people are still coming to me, say, Clara, should I tell you that I was actually in the UK? I arrived, but I was not allowed to enter. Some on visit visa, some study permit, and the rest. And guys, I say, this is another reason why I need to sit down here and talk about this. The point of entry into the UK. This is the major stage of your all relocating to the UK or your all coming inside the UK. This is the determinant factor if your purpose of getting that visa will be accomplished. As a matter of fact, you need to convince the immigration officer, give them the truth, let them know why you are here before you are allowed inside the UK. So when you come into the arrival hall, definitely you step down from the airplane, you come into the arrival hall, you will come across some set of men or women on uniform. These are people called immigration officers. They're mostly at the check in like a boss shape kind of counter where you see people being queued up. They will call out on you one after the other, carry out checks, on your passport and all of that. Don't forget, I just arrived the UK recently from my visit to Nigeria. And on arrival at the point of entry, it took me back to when I was almost deported. The embarrassing moment I faced, I saw some people who were before me going through the immigration. And one particular man stuck a cord with me as the immigration officer spent a lot of time questioning and questioning this man asking this man several questions and I'm not going to come here to lie to say that I know what was being asked or so as I was immediately called for my own checks but for the officer to spend so much time with this man it shows that mm, something is quite fishy or maybe the man is not giving the right answer that the immigration officer wants so guys you need to prove yourself diligently so let's break this down Depending on what you're coming into the UK to do, maybe as a visitor, as a student, as a worker, whatsoever, or as a business person, the first part you're going to arrive in is the Passport Collection Center. Now, the Passport Collection Center comprises of two, to my knowledge, two different queues. One, for those who are already resident in the UK, those who got the citizenship and the rest who is a passport holder of the uk rather and also those who are not these are two separate queues please don't confuse it as i also remember using myself as an illustration my very first time in the uk i went to go and queue on the passport order because i was not reading i was not reading the sign that says passport order based on excitement or the tiredness from the long flight i went to go and queue there it almost caused a delay and me missing my flight, my connecting flight. So ensure you check these two queues to know which and which you're going to. If you're a passport order, fine, you queue on that. If you're a first time arriver, you're not a passport order, fine, you queue on the right one. 
So this is where your passport will be checked by an officer. This also takes me to when I was coming back from Nigeria on my visit. A particular guy at my front, he gave his passport, he gave his boarding flight, but his connecting flight, I think, to Manchester was not with him. And the passport officer was asking, why is your connecting flight not with you? How come you successfully entered into the UK in London, Itro, but you don't have your connecting flight with you? It almost caused a delay again. As we queuing at his back, we started becoming impatient. So ensure if you have a connecting flight, you have your two ticket with you as the officer, the passport officer calls on you, you are showing him immediately, you're going to the immigration officer. Next stage is the visa officer. Yes, these ones are your gag pata pata. If you don't know what that means, these ones are the boss, they are the chiefs. They are the ones that will determine if you enter the UK. In fact, some people see them as the mini god, which they can be, you know. So the visa officers are the ones that would actually start asking you these questions. And I say that some of these people have been trained psychologically to know when you're saying the truth or not. They can immediately fish out lies from the truth or truth from the lies or so. So, like I do say, there's no methodology to what questions will be asked at the visa officers. There's no methodology to that. Some people say, oh, you may be asked this, you can be asked that. No. It all varies on the kind of visa you are holding. Be it you're coming in as a student, you're coming in as a visitor or as a worker. The questions are all based on the kind of visa you are holding. So there's no question in particular that I can say here and say, oh, if they ask you this question, talk like this. If they ask you this, say like this. No. There's no absolutely pattern to this. All questions are different. My first arrival into the UK years ago, the question I was being asked again this time around was totally different from that I was asked before. So it's all different. But one thing I know is that be comported, be sincere, give out a big smile, but be focused. Know what you're there for. Answer with a lot of confidence, without fret, if you know you're doing the right thing. And be careful with your words, as every words are being recorded, not by any electronic devices, but it's being recorded by them. So guys, I just said to say this and also bring another awareness about port of entry questions or rather about what to do and not when you are arriving the UK's point of entry. So I hope this video helps one of you out there today. I hope you can share this video to as many people because I know some of you will be arriving the UK very soon. I see it happening. Some of you are going to be getting a job. In fact, most of you are going to be getting a job very soon into the UK. So before you arrive, ensure to go and watch videos like this that would ease all your journey. Go to the UK border and immigration check. I think they have um, social media handles on TikTok, Instagram, and even here on YouTube. Watch them to see what and what to do, what not to do. And guys, new update. I'm so glad. Since I see a lot of you coming into the UK very soon, please do not forget that you can now book your flight ticket with us. Yes, you can now come to me to book your flight ticket. I'm now in partnership with so many companies that can give you a cheap and affordable flight ticket into the UK. No matter the part of the UK you're coming into, you cannot get a cheap flight ticket. No matter the kind of flight airlines you want to use, you cannot get a cheap and affordable flight ticket. It's 100% verified, 100% legit and secured. So please reach out to me on claraimmigration at gmail.com as boldly displayed on the screen letting me know you're interested so we can begin talking. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you in my next one for now. Goodbye.